Hey everybody, I thought I'd make a little video for you guys on my two GoPros and the experiences I had with them. And uh, I'm watching a little bit of a Pug Ones um, THC video. So, um, yeah. So, first off, I'm going to start off with the Hero 4. Bought this thing about several years ago. Really great camera, worked out good over the years. Um, about several, about this year, I think around January, July, June, July, I dropped it and broke the mounts. So I, I bought another case for it a while back before I broke this part. Um, here it is, it's the Hero 3, Hero 3, the original Hero 3 um, case enclosure thingy. Um, it works good. Works really good. I had to modify the little gasket here for so I could see the LCD. It works good. It's functioning. Very well functioning case. It's awesome. It has a little locky thingy here. So let's put that on right there. So here's the Hero 4. Got a great camera. Really good camera over the years. I think it still has juice in it. Yep, she still has some juice in her. But, um... So you can see on the LCD. So you can see on the L, L, the old LCD here. No, you guys can see it better than I can. She seems to be focusing really well on the light. It's very sweet. It looks pretty good. Focuses really well on the light, and she has no SD card in her because um, I removed that. Hold on, guys. So let's plug up that and you can see she has no SD card. She has no SD card in here. Hold on guys, let me stop you here. Hey everybody, I had to stop you there because the light was getting in the way, so here we can see it's a no SD card. Here at the back. It uh, looks pretty pretty good. Uh, it's in VGA. I always I record in VGA. I don't record in HD very much. Unless it's on my other phones. See, this camera does really well, except it has poor low-light capabilities, so... Yeah, this camera is a good camera over the years. So, I used it for you guys, see, and I didn't use it very often, but I, when I did, I did. Um, yeah, so... I used it when I could, so let me turn the light back on now. Okay, guys, I'm back. Light's on. So, yeah, so let me take this thing out of the enclo... Oops. I think I turned her on again. Oh well. Yeah, I turned her on again. So, uh, what the hell? Yeah, she's hitting. I'm hitting that button. So, we're gonna open her up now out of the enclosure. Okay, pop her out. Here's the GoPro, looking sweet as usual. So, Hero Four. You can see that crack I mentioned in a later video. You guys can see that, um, see a little crack in a little plastic here. So if you guys know anything on repairing this, this little, um, dingalo here, anything on repairing that, let me know. I wouldn't mind getting this camera repaired. And it's been a good camera over the years, and I loved it. Under here's your SD card, micro USB. Uh, mini USB and HDMI connectors. Under here's your battery. See, the battery is under underneath this part. The battery, sweet. So yeah, see all the features. And go through in there. So yeah, and you can also use the little LCD. So turn it off. You hold this button for a few seconds, and she turns off. There we go. So now we're gonna put this thing back in the enclosure, like, like that. Close it up. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys that it does fit inside the Hero 3 enclosure. So we're gonna open this, and it's actually gonna stay in this enclosure. Okay, so slip her in. Just gonna give her a little wiggle. There we go. Close her up. There you go. 
So if you guys are in here three enclosure and you broke your mounting studs like I did, you can use a here three enclosure for this cam. Sweet. That's just plain sweet. Oh yes, and I also think it was on this one. Yeah, it's on this one. I think I busted one of these things. I don't remember. So yeah, so well. Uh oh. Yep. Well, it came off. Sorry for this, you guys. I'm leaning up against uh, something over here, like a thing or something. And we'll put, show you guys how to put it back on. So, it's a little piece I broke. Actually, yeah, I broke this piece up here. The little cogs that hold it. So, you guys simply put this piece right like that. This piece like that, right like that, right like that, you, ah, man. you push it into place, and then you lock it back, lock the thing back down, and there we go. So, so yeah, and here's the Hero 4 and the Hero 3 enclosure. <coughs> okay. Here we have my Hero 5. Bought this only about a month ago. It's a really great camera. I love how it works. Two button operation. Battery door. Um, not battery door. Charging. And USB Type C port connectors in here. I'll show you those when I'm when I'm when I get this thing out of here. Here's the all fun here's a multifunction switch to record switch. When you first get it, it'll be set to, you push this, starts recording. So you go to your settings in your app. You go to the settings in the app. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, you go to your settings in your your capture app. Go to the GoPro settings. There's going to be a setting in there for the recording settings. So, um, let's power this on and I think I can find it. <laughs> push that button. Power's on, put it down there. Now you wanna to turn it to get it to then you hit connect. Then you go to the capture app. Okay, you hit connect your camera. Then uh, this icon here will light up if either of these cameras are on. So you hit that. Let's move my my cool pad out of the way. Okay, so we'll get in there, go to settings. Okay, and then you go to the field. Okay. You have your voice control here. Okay. That's your locate camera button. Here it beeps. That's so that if you lose your camera and it's on, you can find it. Use current Wi-Fi remote. We don't have a Wi-Fi remote. I don't have one yet. Battery level, SD capacity. Go in there. It tells you your capacity and stuff. <coughs> okay, so. We're going to continue on. Voice control. I don't use that. LCD sleep is never. Auto off. Never. Video format. Beep. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna scroll this up. Okay, you. Oh, you have your frame rates and stop on. Sorry about the light. I can see if I can block it a bit here. Okay, so. Your frame rate and stuff. Sharpness. Reset. Pro tune I have on Operation Auto. Operation Auto is for the orientation actually. Default mode video. Quick capture is off. LCD blink LED blink on. GPS is on. Beeps on. Auto off. Never. So pretty much that's the features on there. Um, 
No, there was a setting for um for this thing's shutter button, but I can't find it at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, in BGA you only get 240 frames a second. GoPro colors are... GoPro colors, yep. I don't know what that protein does, but I'm going to put it at high. So, most of the features are on. As you can see, here's all the different features and stuff. Okay. <coughs> So yeah, so most of this is um, all good. Okay. So yeah, so it's um good. So yeah, so that's a view of the capture app. Now we're gonna take a look, as you can see the camera and uh, the camera action. Right, you move it. Now we're gonna shake, 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 shake. Okay. So we'll just power it off now and you'll see power off. Watch the L at this. And then we can also turn her on. Okay. So she powered on. Let's see how she how she takes the, the light. Takes it pretty good. So we're gonna power off. And we're gonna hit the settings. No, it can't do much when she's off. So power back on, and then we'll we'll show you in the in the built-in settings and stuff. Okay, so we'll turn it around. And we'll turn that off now. And now we're gonna get to the features in here. So you swipe down. You have your you have these features here. Perform preference. Okay, update. Time. Current voice control off. Okay. Okay, beep. Okay. Quick capture is off. Auto off is never, of course. That's all the functions and stuff from the app. So we're going to exit that. As you can see, everything looks pretty good from here. It looks pretty good. Yeah, so everything looks pretty good from this camera. I like the camera. It's a really good camera. Um, I like how it is and. I don't know. I know some some of you didn't like it, but I like it, and it works really good. So both these cameras will be used eventually, and got to jiggle the mouse to turn it back on. You just turn off the LCD. So yeah. So um, yeah. This has been a nice little video making of this camera. The hell was that? Oh. Oh yeah, she does beep if um there's nothing there. Heard? So yeah, so to turn it off, you hit this button for a few seconds, and she turns off. Okay, so now I'm gonna lean you guys up against up against the old girl. Against the, I'm gonna just stand you guys up. 
Oh, you guys up against the old GoPro. So now to open this, you slip this clamp, slip this lock here up, opens. Then you just simply push the camera out of the enclosure. Just push it, and she does come out. Don't force it. You'll end up breaking something if you force it. So the GoPro comes out of the little enclosure here, as you can see. I'll bring you guys up a bit. Okay, so we'll just move that to the side. Oh, yeah, this is from Photo Iodox. This little um, clip here from Photo Iodox. Go tough gear. Find these on Am you can find these on Amazon. This is the large, you can get the medium and the small. So I got this on Amazon. So now we're gonna look at the GoPro. See the big L C D side here in the lens. There's several mics on this thing. I think that's a mic. Mic. There's a speaker in here too. Mic. And a mic. How do you like that? Okay, so now we're going to put you guys up some more. Okay, and then we're going to open this part here. This part here contains the battery. I think the charging part's actually. So you push this button. Push this button. And you pull. And you lift up. That's where your USB Type-C charger and transfer port. I mean, not transfer port. Um, HDMI wireless mic port on this side here are your buttons here and here buttons here and here then we got this part you push the button and pull it open there's your battery or battery as some people call it your battery grab the little tab pull out the battery it's a bit of a tight pull it's gonna Close this guy up, put him on the side. So, um, as you can see, it's a different battery from the Hero 4. Put it down. I'm gonna stop you guys here and be right back. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I got some accessories here. I'll put this GoPro here. This is a GoPro Hero battery charging dock that I picked up for my Hero 4. Let me open it up and show you the battery that came with it. It's a GoPro battery, but kind of an odd shaped battery. So, um, yeah, sorry, I'm doing this one at it, so, yeah. So, we're gonna grab the little tab. I'm gonna grab the little tabby guy here. And you do need a little bit of a nail to get this tab, so I'm gonna pull this guy out, move the pro to the side. So as you can see, oh yes, and the difference, the Hero 4 battery has the little connectors. Oh and yeah, I brought my cables here to show you guys. Okay, so, um, as you can see, the battery, Hero 4 battery has these connectors on the side. Positive minus in the ground. And it's just GoPro. Let me show you the standard battery, which is right here. Let me show you this battery here. See, it's rounded on the edge. Rounded. This battery here is square. It's a square battery, but it fits in the battery compartment. So, as you see, Hero, 4, Hero 5 battery has, th has the terminals on the top. Which is pretty interesting for the design. And, and it says GoPro upside down on the battery on the unit this is gopro gopro so i'll pop this guy i'll actually pop this guy in for charging and i'll pop a fresh pack in the unit okay so i'm gonna pop this guy back okay hold on i'm gonna give him a bit of a blast of air Oops. Okay, so give him a blast of air to cool him and dry him off. So pop this guy back into the box. Close him up and lock him in place. 
You know, that's the one thing that kind of annoyed me when I first saw it, when I first looked up videos on it, was the new battery design. The new battery design is a little annoying, but it works. I'll have to get the multi-dock. I'll have to get the battery dock for the Hero 5 now, so, yeah. But I have the battery dock for the GoPro Hero 4. Here's the Hero 5 battery again. So now... I'm going to pop open the battery door and put the battery back in. So we're going to give it a blast of air too to kind of get rid of all the dust and goo that may have built up in there. So this is what I use canned air wise ultra duster. Find them at Walmart. So battery goes in this way. Do not put it in backwards like I did the first time. So. Pop it in like that, give it one last blast of air. Okay, so we'll close it up. Close it up, so you push down and you push and lock. Okay, so give this one last blast of air. Get rid of the dust on there. Now for the enclosure, you open it up. Take your hero five. Okay, so we're gonna lay you guys at an angle now on the ultra duster can. So now you guys can see what I'm doing, at least. So you put this guy in the in the in the enclosure like that. Push it in gently. Push it in. Don't want to force anything. Okay, so you make sure it's in there. I'm gonna give it some blast of air. Get some blasts of air. Okay, and then we're going to close it up. Okay, then you quickly, then you just put the little, then you take the latch, latch it on, then you latch it on, and then you just, then you latch it on, and then you snap it shut. Okay, and then it's back in the little enclosure. So, yeah. Okay, so, here we go. Put the duster away. I have a bunch of junk piled up over here, but, yeah, I have a bunch of junk piled up. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty messy desk underneath. Nobody looks at that, so I don't care. So, as you can see, Hero 5. Okay, now to move on. So, I'll put all the Hero 4 and 5 accessories with each other. Okay, so... Now to move on to what I use with my GoPros when I charge them. Okay, I charge my Hero 4 batteries separate. I don't plug this guy in. I use this to charge the batteries. And there's the stickers and stuff on it. Okay. So I use this to charge the batteries instead of using the camera to charge the batteries. But, um, okay, so... I have the original GoPro plug for the Hero 4, but this is a generic one. This is a generic one I have laying around. It's a mini USB. It's a mini USB connector. That's um, just good and just lo it's it's long enough to um, fit. It's long enough to do what I need it to do. And this, okay, that's the USB end. Okay, this end here would stab into the camera, stab into the camera, and also, and it also fits here, mini USB connector on this, which is quite handy, so it stabs in there, then it plugs into the wall jack, which I'll show you, I'll show you that right now, before we get back to the here for so we'll pop, okay, we're back, okay, see this guy here, I put him loose right there, The song ended two minutes ago. But I'll tell you what. So, this end here. I plug it in here. And then the lights come on. Okay, it's green and orange. Okay. Okay, when it's green, she's fully charged. When it's orange, she's charging. So. And then I'll take this guy and stab. That's where I usually keep my Hero 4 pack. 
So yeah, so that's where it goes there. I'm not sure we should have a read. What? Are you serious? I think that we might be rushing into rushing into a bit more that's where it is. This way I plug in the hero. Five. Okay, we're back. Okay, on to the hero five. Here's a Sony camcorder USB cable. I use this to make it longer. I don't have a battery plug-in um, plug-in stabber thing for the wall, so I have to charge the battery using the camera. And what I do is I take this end, this end usually plugs into the wall charger. So I take this end, I take the end from the USB cable from the GoPro Hero 5. I'll stab this end in here. Make sure it's firm in there. Okay, it says GoPro on it. And then here we come to the charging end. It says GoPro USB Type C charging connector. So now I'm gonna show you how I do that. So we'll power. Okay, we're back. So this end stabs in there. And then this end, I leave down there and the camera plugs in and stabs there. So we'll power. Okay, we're back again. Okay, so here so this has been a little video of my GoPro Hero 4 and Hero 5 review of, of these cameras. And it's up to you. You can buy these refurbished on the GoPro website. But if you want this one, you can buy this too. This is $399 plus tax and the shipping if you buy it from the GoPro website. This here was also $399, but I bought this at a store. I paid about $400 for it with the taxes. This I paid on Amazon. I think I paid almost, I think I paid, you know, $400 for it. Sweet. So. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this little review video. Have a nice day.